Soldier Slim, right? You knew him personally, and he was signed to No Limit for a minute. For the people that don't know him, but they heard his name before, let the people know a little bit about him. Nah, what, what, what I told about it, I told somebody like this, man. Soldier Slim was like before his time too, a little bit, but I would say he embodied like New Orleans. So if you look at Soldier Slim, it was like gritty, cut, you know, like it was like. You know, just the city, speak the language, the accent, it was just like all that. And so so people love New Orleans, right? People around the world, they just love New Orleans, love the accent, love the everything about it, right? So <clears throat> even me, I wasn't so such New Orleans, right? But we had when we got Soldier Slim, we had a piece of New Orleans. And then you could see it. And so his his work ethic was just like New Orleans, where he was in the he was in the booth and he was going you know going crazy and making these songs on the bat like you know just consistently he was just going crazy. So yeah, so it was kind of more um, if he would have yeah he would have he he was far along, but man he would have just kept going because um, that New Orleans the way he bought that it was it needed somebody to to really take that mainstream into the rest of the world. He was doing it a little bit, but he was doing it in that regional market, kind of getting out a little bit. But if they, the world had really heard like how he, his delivery, how his flow was, how he, you know, how he, how he do his thing, yeah, they would, they would have definitely kept embracing him for sure. Terrible, man, sad, man. And he died in his own city, man. And I remember, yo, I remember seeing an interview from Boosie, right? And he made a comment before and he said that, you know, the people that hate you the most that want to kill you are the people from your city. You agree with that? I can see that. I can see that. Um, just because people, you know, I got love in my city. I, I think I love, and I love my city for sure. Um, but then, you know, you know what I'm saying? For the people who know me, they love me. They going to rock with me. They'll do anything for me. And then you might have a few people who, who don't like that. So that's not to take away from the good people. It's just like, it only take one or two people who just, don't really care for you that much. And so use it as in your own city because you're competing with the people in your city. So when they see you make it and they don't, that's probably like a, a trigger, for, that's probably something bad for them. And so, so more like if you all broke, like I had the best friends when I was poor, right? I had the best ones because we was all poor. It was nobody had, worrying about who was this, this. You know, when I got a little money in my pocket or became who I came, it was like you could tell, oh, you changed. But nah, not really. I ain't really changed. I just, I'm just moving different. And I suggest you move different too. But when you when you're in a place where you not, you didn't change up or you didn't get to the point you want to get to, then well, somebody gotta change. You're always gonna change. And so um sometimes it's your city because your city sees you grow and sometimes may not want you to grow as fast as you're growing. And um, and they take they take um, they take offense with stuff very very fast. So that means like, you know, if you if you move out and you started getting a bigger house and stuff like that, it'll probably be something like, man, you used to be around here all the time, man. And you know what I'm saying? Now you don't be around here no more, man. You act like a suck. You know that's a, we used to be in the hood. Now you're in the hood no more. Well, I can't come in the hood because I know what the consequences of that. Because I was in the hood, right? So so you just make a little bit more different thing. How about how about you come see me? Out the hood and let's go grab some food. Nah, nah, I'm in the hood. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm representing. You know, like, nah, I can't. I ain't gonna be able to do that, my boy. Like, let me come pick you up. Let's go. You know, nah, nah. They want, you know. So it has to be a, a mutual respect and a, and a balance. But, um, but you have to change the your course because when you start making money or doing certain stuff, you can't do the same thing. And um, so your, your your streets would feel like you're changing on them. But in actuality, you have to change. Let me change you too. Come on, let's let's hop in the car. Let's let me let me put some money in your pocket. Let's go do this. Let me. You ain't got to go back to that. You know, like that's what we own. But um, but you know, some some of the people down they ain't on that. They wanna, you know, they wanna be those guys forever. And and listen, I and I, I respect that too because that's what they know. And you know, but at the same time, I, I wish them. I wish that you know. More could come along and be and get to the you know get to where they got to get to too you know what I'm saying for sure.